Tom, would you like to kick off the first sure. question? Coach, how excited are you about Bloom getting called up to the Bafana Bafana? Yeah, it's, I mean, it's no secret. Good performances, you know, get rewarded. And uh, he's got a constant uh, rhythm with us. And uh, we know uh, his, his characteristics. We know he's a good, hardworking, solid player. We know he's a good player within our profile and our principles. So, you know, those things don't go unnoticed. And, you know, it's tough to lose him. Um, but, yeah, it, it's, uh, it's awesome that he gets the call up and uh, he can represent his country. So, our country. Nashville isn't just the second place team in the East, but they've got one of the best defenses in the league. Um, what are your feelings going up against that? Yeah, good. I mean, I think it's one of those, you know, games where we can we can go to Nashville and be really excited about, you know, upsetting the apple cart. Um, being, you know, almost uh, no one's reckons with us with a point or, or, or a victory. So it's one of those uh, games where we can go free. Um, and I'm excited about that because, you know, teams have feared coming to St. Louis. Teams have feared playing us and... You know, if we can go to a team who's really on good form and, and is a dominant force uh, defensively as well as in the attacking, uh, attacking transition moments, I think it yeah, sets up for a great match, and uh, we're excited about it. Hani Mukhtar, uh, presumptive MVP, MVP candidate, and he's not just important in their attack, but he's also their leading uh, man with assists. Yeah. How, do you, uh, how do you handle that type of a player? Yeah, I think it fits to our principles, right? So, I mean, uh, we need to be making sure that we're taking time and space away and uh, limiting these transition moments. So it's, uh, that means uh, when, we have the, when we have possession of the ball, we need to be balanced in our attack, uh, which means we need to be strategic with our placement and our positioning on the field. So, um, and that's no different to what we try and do every single week, um, you know, is, is limit transition players who have great quality, and he definitely fits that mold. Klaus still out, no Edu Leuven in training as well. Just an update on, on both of their health. Yeah, I mean, Klaus is, is still, you know, I think uh, we're about a week away from the next update to see where, where we are with Klaus. And uh, with Edu, it's, uh, we were just waiting to see how treatment uh, responds. And uh, he's still questionable for the weekend, but uh, we'll wait till tomorrow and, and make a decision then. And I'm sure that plays into the role that you guys have so many different goal scorers, so many different impact players. Does the system change at all if both of those guys aren't available? Or how do you approach this game? No, I think we can get away with, you know, uh, with, with positioning and, and pr profiles. You know, uh, Miggy Perez gets a couple of minutes uh, last night to stay sharp. You know, um, Indy Vasilev is very versatile, um, you know, as is Jared Strout. Um, so I think we have more than enough pieces uh, to come up with a competitive game plan to match up with, with Nashville. So, uh, again, it's just, uh, you know, it's the next man up mentality if, if Edu can't go. But, uh, you know, we'll make that decision tomorrow. Bradley, uh, Max Snyder was in practice today, so if Edu is unable to go, is Max Snyder an option for Saturday's game? It's, it could be a possibility. You know, it's no, it's no difference to when we, we brought up Johnny Klein based on good performances. Max Schneider's done really well um, with City 2 and has been a leading figure there uh, for the last couple of weeks. He is part of our roster and he's part of our squad, so, you know, I don't think it's any surprise that he's with us now, but... Uh, yeah, we, just like we said with uh, Jabulo, uh, hard work gets rewarded, and uh, you know Max has earned his uh, reps with us today here. And are these games against teams from the Eastern Conference um, different, or do you approach them the same way you will approach uh, another game? No, I mean I feel games that when there's points on the board, we want to gain points on the board. <laughs> you know, I think there's an opportunity for us to to have a great experience, uh, to experience a great stadium, great atmosphere. Um, and, and against a good team. So it's all the things that we want to play against. If we want to match ourselves with the best teams in the league, National, uh, Nashville certainly uh, fits up that mold, um, So which, which we're excited about that prospect. And um, yeah, we'll go from there. Hi, Eric Hall from the St. Louis Post-Dispatch. Uh, I'm curious, you said you'll know tomorrow whether Edu's able to go. What are you looking for from him tomorrow? And uh, what will determine whether he's able to go? Well, he's just received a bit of treatment, so you have to just give a you know a 24-hour threshold just to see how the treatment recovers. Um, so, and then we'll be able to evaluate. Yeah. Different, different page. Um, curious that this time of year, as you're looking to the transfer market this summer, are any of the players on a path to a green card where they might take up or not take up an international slot? 
Yeah, listen, you'd, you'd have to take up uh, with Lutz van Ishtey with regards to that, uh, but there are a couple of candidates for sure um, who are in that you know mold and, and fit that profile. So, um, which inherently, you know, I think it's very unique when you start an expansion team, you get some foreigners, and then, you know, suddenly in first year you have no foreigner spots because you've just acquired many foreigners. So, you know, it's almost a race against time to try and get those foreigner spots open again and, and get uh, the guys the green cards, but uh, you'd have to check up with Lutz uh, regarding that. And then back to Nashville, um, you mentioned Indiana Vasilev, an option in the middle. Obviously, he has experience there this year. How do you see your attack playing out if Indy moves back? Because with Klaus out, he's one of the difference makers that has really shown in the attack. Yeah, I think we have good... Uh Good, good uh, options there. We have Celio Pompeo, we have Thomas Ostrak. You know, we, we can push Jared Stroud further. We, you know, we've been a little bit adaptable and flexible um, with regards to that. And uh, we've never shied away from playing our way and sticking to our principles. And uh, I think we've, the good thing is we've had good reps with Indy slightly deeper. We've had great reps with, with Indy up in the 10. So Thomas Ostrak in his last few games that he did start, he had a goal contribution in, in two, uh, two of the games. You know, he scored one and assisted on one. So, um, you know, we've feel that uh, we will still remain competitive no matter who and, and the personnel are on the field. Same question, then you want to uh, make sure you ask the same question twice. Yeah. Brad, can you summarize what you said while I was out in the hallway? <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just wondering how Joe Willis is more important than us, you know? <laughs> We're every bit as important, it's just there was one chance there, and I knew that I had a, t colleagues here who would get things done. Hopefully I've been mooted on the... Uh, on the Nashville call. Yes, I have. So, yeah. Right. Um, how's Leuven? Yeah, he's uh, being um, assessed at the minute. Um, he had some treatment, and we'll just see how he responds to the treatment and reevaluate in the morning. I was going to ask about Caden Glover. Um, he wasn't with City 2. Do you expect him to join the team this weekend? Um, no, so Caden's going to be playing uh, with the 17s uh, in, in the playoff game. So, you know, he's been training all week with them and, and traveling with them. So, yeah, he'll be playing a vital role uh, for their quest to glory. Thanks. Brad, after you had this run of home games, which you were, did a pretty good job of making the most out of going 3-0-1. Now, as you head into this next section, what's kind of the, uh, what are you looking at now as you ex leave home? Yeah, take those good uh, feelings, good me good uh, uh, good memories of, of bagging points and uh, being competitive and, and being successful. So it's always good having a run of form and then going on the road um, and being brave and fearless. So I think uh, we come up against a very good opponent who challenges us in many ways, but I think we can challenge them in many ways too. Yeah. And I would have actually left Joe Willis, except they said, we're, we're going to, Tom, we're going to go to you first on Joe. So they like knew I was there. I couldn't hide was the problem. So that's all right. Uh, Joe's a great guy. So, yeah. you know, he's worth the chat. He spoke highly. He spoke highly. <laughs> of, I also has got to say that the Nashville coach talks a lot. So. All right. <laughs> Long answers. Long answers. We'll end off of that. Thanks, Coach. All right. Good. Thank you very much. Uh, hey, Nico. Hello. Hello. Um, with this team, with a situation you don't know about Leuven, Bloom is gone. What is, what is that the challenge that provides for you guys uh, potentially this week against an extremely good Nashville team? Adaptation. I mean, this is part of the game. Uh, every game, you're not going to always have the same lineup. And, you know, it's, of course, it's, there are crucial players in our, in our, in our squad, but you know, we have players who will come up and, and, and stand their ground as well when, when these guys are gone. So, um, you know, it's something where as a nine or wherever I, I'm going to end up playing, um, we learn to play with each other, give it our best, and, and see what the result comes out as. What do you take away from these, these four home games you had here? What, what did that do for the team as you now head forward? Well, it was great, you know. Um, the Galaxy game was a, l a little frustrating at the end. Um, I think we should have won that. Um, but uh, as I say, it's, it's part of the, it's part of the game. It's part of the season. You know, it happens. We still got what uh, nine point, uh, ten points um, in four home games. So that's 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 great. It's wonderful. Um, you know, we're gonna go to Nashville, do our best, getting prepared as best as we can, and 
um, you know, give it our all and hope to come home with the three points. You know, we work hard every day, every day, every single one of us, and uh, we all know what our role is. What do you think Zlatan would have thought about your goal the other night? Um, I think he'd have been impressed. <laughs> I think he'd have been impressed. Uh, he's my idol, so uh, I hope he saw it. And if I get a message, I'll let you guys know. <laughs> Nico, Nashville has one of the top defenses in the league. As a striker, is there a extra motivation for you to play against one of those defenses and perform well and contribute to the team getting points? Of course. Uh, I love challenge. Uh, I've always faced challenges throughout my whole career as a young player. Um, so it's something where uh, I go into this game preparing my, my mind more so than anything else. Uh, it's something where when it's tough, um, that's when the, the best players show what they're capable of. So that's what I'm preparing for. On the defensive side, um, you're often tasked with being that first push point. Uh, so you choose where you're going to press. Nashville is one of the, the teams who allows the fewest errors. So does that change anything about your approach in where you plan on pressing? Or how do you approach uh, such an a, a offensively sound team? I mean. It depends. We obviously we study them. Um, they study us. So uh, you know you prepare for certain things. But at the end of the day, the game is a game. Sometimes it doesn't go as planned. Sometimes it does. Um, and, you know we're. I'm pretty sure we're up there as one of the best pressing teams in the league. So um, you know, top goes against top is always a, is always a nice challenge. So we'll we'll see on Saturday. Uh, Roman, uh, defensively, how, how have you felt about this team's play over these last four home games? Pretty good, to be honest. Um, I think we, we made a big step forward when it comes to um, forward defending. Um, I think especially in the last game against LA, we had uh, really good actions from um, Tim and, and Lucas. And uh, that... Uh, it's definitely something that should be our standard, and we want that as our standard. And uh, also, uh, Kyle and Jake, uh, when it comes to defending, uh, really good. How frustrating was it not to get that win against LA? Yeah, of mm. course, uh, it's always frustrating. Um, uh, we had the chance to score the second goal, and probably the, the game would have been a little bit easier. Uh, but with the individual, individual qualities that uh, LA have, is, they are always dangerous and good for a goal. And um, at the end, uh, it happens, and um, like Nico said, uh, we should have won this game, of course, but uh, one point is better than none. And then Mukhtar, league MVP, are you productive on both scoring and assisting? What, what challenge does he present? Yeah, he's a good player, um, but like Coach said, um, we, we have to take away uh, time and space uh, when it comes to a player uh, like him, and um, I think we will have a good plan to do that and uh, that everyone is aware of, of his qualities, of course, and uh, I think we'll be okay. Matt? Nashville and St. Louis lead the league in save percentages, so do you feel like with the Mukhtar impact and knowing that Joe Willis is so stout in his defense that there's added pressure to you and the back line in this match? I don't think so far. I just take it as a game. I mean, everything can happen. Uh, I mean, Houston beats uh, LA twice in, I don't know, five, four days. And uh, nobody was expecting that. So everything can happen. I just take every game how it comes. I'm preparing for everything. I just prepare um, my game to be um, as good as, as it can. I try to give everything, and uh, everything else doesn't matter at the end. And then uh, set pieces as well. Both teams, St. Louis and Nashville, are, are very high in number of set piece goals. Do you feel like you're ready to defend against their set piece attack? Yeah, of course. I mean, should I say no? <laughs> of course, we feel we are, we are ready. Uh, we, we practice this um, also every week. Um, we, we, we watch film, uh, what their strengths are in the set pieces or uh, uh, yeah, when it comes to free kicks or or a corner, so um, we'll be ready. 
What have your biggest surprises in the league been so far this year? I mean, I heard that 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 almost everyone on a good day can beat everyone, and uh, but I didn't expect it to be like actual that crazy that like we played Houston and um, we we beat them, and then they they're gonna beat uh, they're gonna win the two times against LAFC, which is a really good team. And uh, I didn't expect that, but um, I, I really like it, how it is, uh, how, how the league is played. So, so it's not difficult for you to get up for any game? Because when I watched the, the, the replay, I was wondering how it impacted the players to be playing almost at an empty stadium. I mean, did you just shut that? Are you able just to shut that out totally, or does it have any impact on your play? Where in Dallas? Well, when you went to when you had that that restart, yeah. right? That odd half game, yeah, yeah. and there was fr from watching it on TV, it was like there was no one there, mm -hmm. right? And you compare that with the atmosphere you guys encounter here, and it's light night and day difference, right? D does that impact you at all? That must be kind of rare for you to play in front of empty stadiums. Yeah, it could be. Um but I had, or I remember when we used to play in COVID times, so the empty stadium were empty too. So um, I didn't actually focus too much on that. I was just, like I said, I'm always trying to play my game. doesn't matter the circumstances. Try to help the team, try to be active. And um, most of the time when the ball is in play, I don't really notice the, the noise around, you know? So uh, I just, for me personally, it was not a big deal. Yeah, compared to the Bundesliga, where there are teams that win a lot and teams that don't, how different is this? How strange is it to be in a league where, on any day, any game can go any way? Uh, I, I, like I said, I really like it. It's, um, it's refreshing um, to see, and uh, like also you, you are looking forward to see at the end of the day or, or end of the weekend, the look at the results and see surprises. Like like I said, like Houston, um, it just makes the, the league way more interesting. What was the last day of the Bundesliga season like for you? Uh, of course, I was like uh, rooting for, for my, my friends in Dortmund, but uh, at the end, uh, it, was, yeah, it was hard to watch, to be honest. Um, but uh, I mean, at the end, if Bayern wins away and uh, Dortmund can't win at home, it's deserved for Bayern. Roman, with Nashville win, being one of the top teams in their conference, St. Louis also at the top, do you see this game as a good test uh, to see where the team is at, knowing that we're almost to have the half point of the season? Yeah, it would definitely be um, a challenge, uh, I would say, on both sides for, for, for Nashville, but of course also for us. Um, and. Um, like coach said, uh, it's 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 a game we can play. Uh, we we can go there and play free. Don't think too much and um, try to to do be the best. And yeah, so I'm I'm looking forward to 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 another challenge. Anyone else? Thank you.